Hello student. Welcome to Geography Chapter 2nd. The name of the chapter is Location and Extent. Location means a place, a particular place. And extent means how far that place is being um, uh, widened. So my dear student, for example, if you meet a new friend, then usually ask that friend, tell me your address. What is the location of that place? I would like to visit you. So here, when we are in school, we stand for assembly. And in the assembly, my dear student, we stand according to the standard wise, first to 12 standard. That also, here we are arranged according to the roll number. And you are appointed as a new prefect in the school. And principal calls you and says that, see, I got a complaint. Eight standard boy is beaten by 10 standard student, roll number 12, 10 and 11. So these three students, you please call. Now you know, my dear student, that since you are new, you don't know these three students. But the principal has told their roll number 10, 11 and 12. So, first of all, the you will go according to the standard wise, 10 standard, and then you will go down in this way. And then you know, 10th student is this, 11 and 12. So these three students are being called by principal. So my dear student, exactly from this assembly, you have located these three students. So this is the location of these two, three students, you have taken them. In the same way, our earth is very huge and then in the earth if we have to locate any place it becomes very very difficult so let us see our earth is divided into three parts four parts so in this way if we take our earth it is horizontally divided into two half so this half is called the northern part since this is the northern direction and this is southern direction so southern part. So this is called northern hemisphere and this is called southern hemisphere. Again we go to next if the earth is divided horizontally then Towards the east, this is eastern hemisphere and this is western hemisphere. Now, if you have protector, my dear student, protector has 180 degree. Do you remember? Yes. And suppose, see this, a protector with 180 degree and this is another protector, 180 degree. If we join this becomes 360 degree. In the same way, our earth has imaginary lines. These lines are called longitudes. At the same time, here also we have lines. Here we have 90 degree and downside 90 degree and they are called latitudes. So, 
latitudes are horizontal lines in this way my dear students and longitudes are in this way so both together my dear student it looks more or less like this this is called graticule so this is the grid of the imaginary line like how we saw the assembly ground and exactly you have spotted the particular students in the same way we can find out the location and extent of any particular place through the help of longitude and latitude latitudes and longitude so uh, let us go and see how to find out this my dear students these horizontal lines determines the climate on the other hand these vertical lines determines the time how that is because consider this as a sun and the sun is quite big my dear student and the rays falls over here when the rays comes here on this line it is exactly overhead and when the sun is overhead we say that it is 12 noon and this line passes from west to east so every 4 minute one line moves towards the other side and this goes backward it goes backward so one by one line comes and therefore it shows us the time why i am telling you this because when we will see this grid then we will know that um, some places 68 degree and and 37 minutes m why this minute why it is called minute is because of this line the rotation of the earth gives us the time is it clear to you my dear student now let us begin the lesson here few hints are given related to this plaque let us go through this the second largest populated country in the world second clue is it is famous for spices in the world and third clue is cricket is a popular sports over here of course you must have recognized through the flag itself it is none other than our own country india now let us move on to the next the clue is this country is famous for samba dance it is known as the coffee pot of the world its football is a very popular sport over here so can you guess obviously it is none other than brazil in this lesson my dear student we are going to have a comparative study between india and brazil so location of india and location of brazil on the globe we are going to study so let us get ready for that let us begin the study of the first country name of the country is republic india republic means the country's government is elected and uh, the prime minister is also elected name of the capital of this country is new delhi location extent and boundaries india is located in the northern and eastern hemisphere of the earth it is located in the southern part of the asian continent with the help of figure 2.1 find its extent 
and of the mainland India. So please, my dear students, this is the map of India, India political. And as we have seen the assembly ground, in the same way, here also few lines are drawn horizontally and vertically lines are drawn. And with the help of this line, we are going to locate and extend our India. So let us begin from here. You can see the tip of the mainland India, that is Kanyakumari. The line passes from it close by to it is 8. So India's 8 degree and 4 minute is the tip of this um, Kanyakumari point. And if we move on to the northern part, of towards the Jammu and Kashmir then you can see this 36 degree but even India is extended little more above so it is 37 degree and 6 minute so this is the location of India 8 degree and 4 minute to 37 degree and 6 minute northern latitude so now we are going to see from here towards the west to east. You can see this degree is 68 degree and this, this is the tip over here. So 68 degree and it extend little uh, above, uh, ahead of that. Therefore 68 degree and 7 minute east. It is east and Towards the Arunachal Pradesh, the this line passes over here is 96 degree, but it is beyond 96 degree. So therefore, it is 97 degree and 25 minutes. I told you why they are called minutes because the earth keeps on rotating and the vertical lines gives us the time. My dear student, this is we have talked about the mainland but india's last tip is over here this is called indira point of course now indira point is submerged in the water um, so this is the last tip of india my dear students we have seen the mainland now let us see its neighbor so we go towards the east, towards the east, our neighbor is Myanmar, China, Bhutan and Bangladesh. Towards the north, we have our neighbor, China, Afghanistan and towards the western part of it, we have Pakistan. Towards the south, we have Sri Lanka. So these are our neighboring countries. My dear students, this is the map of Brazil political. So please have a look of this map. Kindly have a look of these horizontal lines and their degrees over here. Then we have the vertical lines and their degrees. Now let me tell you that Brazil lies in the northern hemisphere some part of it because you can see this zero degree passes from uh, this part of um, Brazil zero degree is called equator and above zero degree is called northern hemisphere and below zero degree is called southern hemisphere so large number of uh, Brazil lies in the southern hemisphere and uh, some part of it lies in the northern hemisphere as well as Brazil also lies in the western hemisphere. You can see here 30 degree west and um, these are the western hemisphere 70 degree west. So let us find out its longitude and uh, location extent. So first of all we take this tip of it, it is
let us begin the study of this part name of the country is federative republic of brazil federative means which is divided into several states brazil has 26 different states and uh, therefore it is called federative federal government and then it has a union government so federative republic of brazil republic means uh, i told you already that re uh, it is the elected uh, president who rules the nation or elected prime minister who rules the nation name of the capital is brasilia now let us go back to the map here and let us find out its location here you can see the topmost tip in the northern hemisphere is 5 degrees celsius so it passes from here 5 degree north so its northern extent is 5 degree and 15 minutes north and we go down to south it is this is 30 above that if we go it is 33 degree and 45 minutes south then we go on to vertical lines so let us begin from here this 35 degree here and it is not exactly touching uh, towards 35 so it is 34 degree and 45 minute western hemisphere i told you this uh, brazil lies in the western hemisphere and if you go towards the western part still then it is 70 but this 70 line and up it goes beyond that so 73.83 minutes longitude these are the extent of brazil now let us find out let us observe the neighboring countries of uh, of uh, brazil so in the north it lies french guyana suriname guyana venezuela in the western part colombia peru bolivia paraguay argentina in the south you in the south uruguay and in the eastern part southeastern part it is south atlantic ocean and this is north atlantic ocean so in this way its neighboring countries are we have seen as well as from uh, south atlantic ocean towards the eastern part and north atlantic ocean towards again the eastern side it has uh, it has a long coastline my dear students historical background we know for sure uh, dear student that our country was ruled by britishers earlier so british ruled india for almost 150 years that is one and a half century and we got independent in 1947 on 15th of august after independence my dear students india faced three wars two wars with pakistan 1961 and 1965 and one war with china 1965 china uh, 1962 china war we also have another problem with india is that we face constant famine our country is agricultural country agrarian country and uh, our agriculture is dependent on the rainfall but rainfall the nature of rainfall we know that sometimes it rains very high sometimes no rain and therefore when there is no rain it is called as famine when there is no rain then no food production no farming is done and therefore such problems country has to face yet india is major developing country it is considered as global market because our country's population is 130 crore plus and therefore 
uh, it is considered as global market many foreign companies are coming in our country and uh, investing and they are um, producing so many things for example uh, we have a car production we have mobile laptop and uh, quite a many uh, uh, gadgets which are produced here and it is sold in our country because of various economic reforms india's economic development has paced up so india's economy is slowly rising up so it is paced up because we had industrial revolution we have green revolution we have white revolution uh, such re such revolution has uh, produced more and more uh, production and india's economy is going higher and higher my dear students the proportion of youth in india is very high because of this it forms a major part of working population india is looked upon as a young country so uh, let us have a look the youth of india above 16 to 59 is 51% and 49% are children and old people who are dependent on this group therefore our country is considered as young country my dear student in ssc examination you will be asked this question now today i am also asking you to write this question is that why india is considered as young country or give reason india is considered as young country historical background brazil for more than 3 century brazil was under the portuguese rule and my dear student you also know that some part of india was also ruled by portuguese do you remember that it was goa dieu daman so it got independent on 7th september 1822 from 1932 1985 it was under a popularist military government so it was ruled for near about 55 years by military rule it has overcome global financial difficulties in the late 20th century brazil is seen as a contributor to economic growth of the world and as an important market in near future so brazil uh, is a vast country although its population is uh, little less but it is a global market in a near future so out of the countries that we have studied my dear student which is the largest country india or brazil you can see from here brazil is uh, the largest country which country has a longer latitudinal extent so latitude means you know the vertical uh, horizontal lines which country has a larger latitudinal extent it is again the answer is brazil how do the location of brazil and india differ in its in terms of their position in their respective countries so here india's location india is located in the eastern hemisphere and brazil is located in the western hemisphere this this way it is divided into prime meridian my dear, dear student passes from 0 degree passes from the green beach from london near london so it is divided this part is considered as western uh, hemisphere and this part is considered as eastern hemisphere this is the prime meridian which passes from london so india is in the eastern hemisphere brazil is in the western hemisphere
as well as India lies uh, zero degree passes from here that is equator India lies in the northern hemisphere on the other hand zero degree passes from here large number of Brazil is in the southern hemisphere some part of Brazil lies in the northern hemisphere too so in this way it is extended <clears throat> how many states does each of the two countries have so Brazil has 26 states as India has 28 states and nine union territories now please please go through this world map my dear students uh, I would like to tell you different continents this is North American continent South American continent European continent African continent Asian continent Australia continent and here is Antarctica continent downside so these are the seven continents now do you know we celebrate our Independence Day on August 15 whereas Brazil celebrates her independence on 7th September India has federal parliamentary republic type of government Federal means India has uh, 28 states and 7 union territory and each state has their own government as well as we have our parliamentary government which is called as union government. It is republic type that is uh, the uh, I would like to request you to kindly complete write these exercises over here.